In this video, I'll show the step-by-step -step process of spraying polyurethane. Before starting, ensure you're wearing safety goggles to protect your eyes and a respirator mask to shield yourself from volatile organic compounds. First, choose the right polyurethane for your project. Using a water-based polyurethane is a good idea for spraying. It can be easily cleaned from the equipment compared to oil-based polyurethane, which is harder to remove due to its oily nature. Next, mix the polyurethane thoroughly. Some polyurethane may have a flattening agent that settles at the bottom. Mixing it well ensures an even distribution of the flattening agent. If needed, thin the polyurethane for better coverage. This improves its flow, reducing the risk of runs or drips. After thinning, filtering the polyurethane is a good practice. It helps remove any debris that could clog the sprayer nozzle, ensuring a smooth spraying experience. Now, prepare the spray gun by filling the container with the prepared polyurethane. Adjust the spray gun settings according to the thinner consistency of the polyurethane. Before spraying your project, testing your technique on a spare piece of wood or cardboard is important. This helps you get a feel for the spray pattern, adjust settings if needed, and ensure that it sprays evenly. When you're ready to apply the polyurethane, Hold the spray gun at a distance of around 6 to 8 inches from the surface. Begin spraying in a steady back and forth motion, overlapping each pass slightly. Keep moving to avoid pooling or uneven coats. The thinned and filtered polyurethane should provide better coverage. Allow proper drying time between coats. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions for the recommended drying time. It usually ranges from a few hours to a day. After each coat has dried, Lightly sand the surface with fine grit sandpaper. This is optional and is only needed to ensure smoothness and better adhesion for subsequent coats. If you only rarely need to spray polyurethane, consider using spray cans. They offer convenience and eliminate the need for thinning or filtering. Simply shake the can and spray directly onto your project. Remember to prioritize safety, practice your technique and allow ample drying time between coats. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be coming up with more awesome content in the future. Thank you for watching. See you next time.